Hello, nuclear enthusiasts. I am Leonidas. This is Nuclearis version 2.0 patch 186, I think it is. Whatever the latest one is at the beginning of May. And we are uh, doing a shutdown today. I realize I haven't done one in a little while, and I was writing up a text guide and uh, figured I should have a video to go along with it. So that's what we're doing today. All I've done is start up. I just started up. I have reduced my output to meet demand, and that's it. Um, you can tell from the flower panel, that's what I call it. It's the reactor power board uh, that I do have chemicals enabled, and I'm going to to take the first step of requesting a maintenance shutdown now before the time gets on too far. We may have already missed it. If that's the case, I'll cut away and come back. But um, I do have chemicals enabled. I did not do any bo uh, dosing. As you can tell, I'm not even activated over here. You will see that my concentration is zero. So but that actually doesn't matter. It won't affect the uh, process any at all. So uh, we will wait to hear from the city and continue with our shutdown. So it looks like they got back to me pretty quickly. I just didn't notice it. But we have been approved to stop operations at 1300, which means that we are in shutting down mode now. So we can go ahead and start. We don't need to meet demand for this hour. Uh, even though it does show a demand over on the board. So the first step was to request the shutdown, which we've already done. Um, step two is to change our operating mode to shutdown. New operating mode established. Shutdown mode. I'll just be going through the steps here and not really explaining it in this one. This is just merely procedural. Uh, I guess I can make another video later with the in-depth reason behind all these. But uh, this is just procedures only. Um, so after that we need to shut down our turbine. We have a number of things going on here that are kind of unrelated, uh, but affect each other. Uh, the turbine being one of those, we, we shut that down first. Um, we disconnect so we don't cause damage. We insert rods to 100. Begin that uh, immediate cooling. And then we would switch our generators to manual and start them if we needed to or turn on external power, uh, which I've already done. And then we open our bypass to 100 to start shutting down that turbine. We wanna make sure our, our power is in place first uh, before we uh, go any further. We don't wanna damage it, which is why we open the circuit first above all else. Bypass to 100. And then MSCV to 100. Start the cooling of that secondary, or that, excuse me, that uh, steam generator. Uh, let's set our primary pump speed to 50 to help speed up that cooling. Now that'll have the, the um, secondary effect of, of heating up the steam gen slightly. Uh, so we're also going to increase the condenser cool and get that down to uh, 20 or as low as we can as quick as we can and we will put our secondary pump at 25. now we wait our steam or our turbine is spinning down to zero our uh, core is cooling off we're aiming for 55 zero and we're keeping an eye on this we need to keep an eye on our uh, steam gen coolant volume level for me, I like to try and shut it off with enough time that, or early enough, whatever the word is, so that I can um, have it all ready to go when I want to restart. And so I usually shut mine off around uh, 45,000 mark, and that will continue kind of um, spooling up, or I guess, well, filling up as the pump spools down and as some of that steam condenses into water and filters trickles its way back into the the steam generator it'll continue to rise all on its own so that's where I shut it off at but um, once we're below 100 degrees here we will stop producing steam so we just have to keep an eye on it if we if this is too low we won't cool it down I know I said I was only going to do procedures and not explain anything but I have the time so 
if I'm finding that uh, I have too much heat going over here and we're not cooling down fast enough, I can uh, slow down the primary pump speed. But let's see. From the transformers, it pairs the uh, We're disconnected, friend, so I don't know where you're getting the excess from. It's not from me. Anyway, we had our resistor banks on, um, which is a, a step that uh, I guess I should have added in earlier. Make sure your resistor banks are on. And we are continuing to cool there. Okay, we're still below where we need to be there. So it looks like everything's coming down nicely. I might actually speed this up. Okay, we will let that continue to fall. Secondary is getting close to where we want to turn it off. We'll do that, like I said, at uh, 45, uh, or no, I'm sorry, 44,000, I think is where I turn this one off. Okay, now what are they saying? The regular immediate request of demand. Oh, I thought we just talked about how I was going to disconnect at 1300. Well, I think it's just because it was probably still in the startup mode when I asked for the shutdown. I think that's why we're getting the mixed signals. So that's fine. Disconnect from the plant by all means. Uh, okay, so we're just about to stop producing steam. Let's see, we're right at 44, so we'll go ahead and turn this off now. And after I put it to zero, I actually turn mine off in case I accidentally bump something. It won't it won't kick on. And um, we will watch that number continue to rise. Really, not much more we can do about it there. This is below 100. Now that's below 100. Uh, we can bring this down. At, I guess it really doesn't matter either way. They're kind of cooling each other off. But no more steam is being generated. We'll go back to that triple speed, see where we end up on this. I mean, I aim for 50,000 just because with my method, that's where I like to start. Okay, city. What can I do for you? Okay, sounds great. Thanks. Appreciate you. Because uh, I'm not producing, unless they mean that I'm going to lose power over here. Uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, I don't see any planned outage. Nope, we're good. Uh, yeah, okay. And there you go. Essentially, the plant is shut down, and we are ready to be uh, ready to start operations again after we've done our maintenance. We can uh, remove water from our external core and do fuel maintenance, rod maintenance, core maintenance, whatever it is. So we have shut those down. Uh, let's see how close we got on this one. So it still continues to come up. If for whatever reason I needed to, and this will freeze uh, at whatever temperature it is once this reaches zero. It, it won't go down anymore um, just based on how it works. This is not going to go up anymore. We can turn that off. Click it there. And we have shut down. That's it. Successful shutdown. We can do what we need to now. A pretty straightforward, simple process. I will put the um, this uh, checklist on uh, line. I actually use Google Docs now for, I have them all in one place. So I will try to remember to link it in the description. If I forget, please remind me in the comments and I'll bring it up. But anyway, here you go. This is with a starting uh, equipment, single fuel, whether you have chemicals or not, and uh, uh, shut down process with a single loop. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Leonidas. We'll see you again soon.